Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Destiny 2 Beyond Light video. Well, it's reset time, my guardians, and we have a brand new quest to get after. So today, we're going to head into the season of the hunt. Prince Aldrin has returned, and we have a brand new quest, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'll bring you a full quest guide for the hunt for the Wrathborn. Now, to kick things off, we have a brand new quest story mission in order to kick off this quest line that will eventually lead you to the spider. So first thing first is head over to the moon. We're going to have this quest called Trial of the Hunted. This is where we're going to start this quest line in order to get our hunts. Alright, once we head into this mission, it's pretty straightforward. Just take out all of the enemies and then at the end of this mission you'll be greeted with a brand new cutscene which is pretty cool so in enjoy that cutscene. From there the quest will update and we then will need to speak to the spider. So we're going to head into Thieves Landing right here into the spider safe out in the Tangled Shore. Here we will finally see Prince Aldrin but He's named The Crow, so we're going to just call this guy The Crow. That's right. The Crow will be located right next to the spider right here. And here is where we're going to pick up the very first part of the quest called Hunt for the Wrathborn. Now, here's where things get a whole lot interesting, ladies and gentlemen. We have this thing called a lore. Now, the lore is going to work similar to the chalice in the menagerie where we can pretty much pick whatever rewards that we want. So this is going to be a great way to get ourselves some very good drops. So pick up all of the different quest bounties because we need to upgrade this guy as well. So we need to get that lore. It's sitting right next to Crow. Pick up that lore and then it's going to update. For the Hunt of the Wrathborn, this part of the quest, we need to charge up our newly acquired lore. We'll also get this Kryptonite lore, which is a semi part of the main quest line, as you can see right here. So this is what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be able to upgrade the Crow and we'll be getting some drops from him. Here's some of the new drops that we're going to get. We have a brand new submachine gun, which is pretty cool. We have a grenade launcher, a linear fusion rifle, scout rifle, and a grenade launcher, and as well as our gear. So yeah, it's going to be a good time. It's a great way to get some new legendaries as well as some powerful drops as you're about to see. So first thing first, we have lore mods and mod upgrades. All of these is going to plug into that lore and that is how we're going to get whatever rewards that we want. You can absolutely just pick whatever that you want. So first thing first, acquire the lore and boom, the quest will update. Once again, we have lore charges that need to be obtained. All right, so let's do that. We need to configure the lore and doing that will get us some lovely rewards. Once again, in order to charge this, you need to go into Crucible, Gambit, and Strikes. That's how we're going to charge this, but it already come charged. As you can see, 66% has been charged. Okay, so what I am going to do is go into Strike. I'm going into the EDZ, one of the easier strikes, very fast strike as well. And we're going to go into the Lake of the Shadows. Now, make my way all the way to right here where there's this witch right before you get to the end and boom she absolutely dropped the lore charge so if you're looking for an easy mission to do to get the lore charge here's the mission from here is going to update the hunt for the wrathmorn and we have a little bit more things to do we need to open the lore and configure it by opening that screen insert mods to configure the lore prey mods select the wrathmorn target and the spoils of the hunt that's pretty much is going to pick our target. And then the trophy mods adjust the rewards we receive. Like I said, it's just like the menagerie. So we got three slots in this bad boy. The first one will be the target or who we want to hunt. And the other two will get our rewards. So the first things first, we have one to choose for the initial part of this quest. The other two are locked. We'll get the upgrade later on as we continually upgrade and we'll get more of those. But for right now, we only have two to choose from. We can either get gauntlets or we can get 
chest. It's up to you. It's going to be a powerful drop, so make sure you choose whichever one you want. Me, I absolutely needed some gauntlets, so I chose the gauntlets. Now, the rest of the targeted rewards, as you can see right here, we kind of can't use it because we haven't upgraded that. So we're just going to have to lose it point. So just go into the trophy mod and apply the dormant mod. And then for the next part of the cryptologic lore, we're going to apply the last mod, the dormant mod, and we're ready to go. After that, it's going to update, and now we need to take this lore to the Tangle Shore and trigger it by luring out those bosses. So that's how it's going to work. We're going to plug in those mods. We're going to seek out this part of the quest where we need to place this lore. Is going to attract some enemies out. Once we beat those enemies, well, then you're going to have your reward. So, once again, we have the cryptologic lore. The quest will not show you where it's going to be located unless you select that. Once you select that, then it'll pop up right here in the Tangle Shore. So that's where we're going, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to head into the Tangle Shore, and here the quest will pop up, Hunt for the Wrathborn. So let's head into Thieves Landing, and let's head over to where we're going to place this lore. Once again, it's going to work just like the Menagerie. We're going to plug in that first mod. This is going to give us our hunt, our target, so to speak. And then the other two mods, we want to get our rewards. All right, first things first for this quest step right here, it's going to pull out this big giant server to take him down all the way down. I died. That's okay. That's okay. The quest will update. The servitor will disappear, and now you're going to have to track him down. Now, in order to track down this guy, you just need to follow these green tracks that he leave behind, kind of like a, a goo pal of oozing ooze. <laughs> so just follow this track, and it's going to lead you all the way to where you need to go. So we're going to take the lift up all the way to right here, and this is going to be our next part of the quest step. It's going to be a nice little quick mission. It's not going to be too long, ladies and gentlemen. But we do have some very cool enemies to get after. And it's a lot of fun. So have fun. Follow the tracks, like I said. Don't forget to place down your rally card to charge up all of your abilities. Plant down that tracker. Boom, that lore. And you're going to pull out these enemies. Once again, finish taking out that servitor that disappeared earlier in the mission. Finish taking out the enemies, and then it's going to spawn in the big guy right there. Alright, now you just can't just go and just kill him. You're going to have to take out two of these servitors with this hue, this little green hue around them. Now, after you take out these two servitors, it then will leave this oozing little ooze of goo that you can just stand underneath and even you're going to get a little buff the buff is going to be able to take out the boss right there so once you acquire the buff then you can just take out the boss pretty easy ladies and gentlemen so let's do that boom the boss is down the quest will then update and now we need to speak to the crow on the tangled shore so after we've done all of this we also are going to get some lovely rewards we have our high powerful drop that was the gauntlets for me and yeah some of the charges went down in lore once again you can charge those up by doing strikes you get the drops wash repeat get the drops powerful drops new legendary gear as well head back to the crow he's going to give you a ton of new mods so we can get after all of the new lovely legendaries as well as gear right here in this hunt so good looking out crow he has brought us a brand new quest and we also need to upgrade this dude too so it's a little bit of grinding to do ladies and gentlemen but that's fine that's how it's going to work we have our lure mods and upgrades like i said once again it's going to work like the menagerie so if you've never played the menagerie well this is kind of how it works plug in those mods get your rewards wash rinse repeat in its own ladies and gentlemen but for right now that's pretty much going in for the video i hope you truly enjoyed it once again if you are new to this channel hello and welcome don't forget to subscribe right here at carpo gaming i upload a wide variety of videos ranging from updates tips tricks glitches news videos and a whole lot more so hopefully you enjoyed this video but if not yep that's still cool hope you and your family is still having a wonderful day once again thank you everybody for all your love and support 
Don't forget, I'm doing a huge Demon Souls giveaway. Link will be down in the description. Join in on the fun. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.